All right, I got the piece off, cleaned it up, used a pick to get all the uh, sealing out of the threads. Now I'm taking this sensor off right here. Like I said, I think it is a heat sensor, 19 millimeter wrench. clean that up next thing we'll take off is the cam position sensor all right I got that sensor out uh, I'm just gonna buy a new one cuz uh, I don't know how old I mean it's as old as I've had the car so eight millimeters to get the cam position Wow look at that just kind of cam position sensor off here right. we'll get this housing off and show you what's under there alright this is the cam position sensor it's got a green o-ring in there this one's uh, deteriorated so I'm gonna go get another one when I replace this sensor this right here is your uh, cam shaft position sensor target magnet. To get that out, we have to use a Torx or the star bit. This size is a T30H. Okay. Got these little holes right here. Come on. I didn't want to come out. There it goes. Come on. All right. Then of course it has these tabs that fit into corresponding holes inside there. So I'm going to clean this off, check it out before I put it in to the new head. All right, so I put the cam position sensor magnet put that back on it's the new one this is supposed to be torque uh, tightened down to 30 foot no 30 inch pounds but uh, the lowest my torque wrench goes my 3 8 drive it only goes down to 120 inch pounds I don't, I don't have the size down so I'm just going to tighten it down Hope that's not too much. Now the new sensor that came, they look a little different. The area where you put your wrench, that's thicker. And this one had thread locker on it. This one has anti-seize. There we go. going to turn it till this is flat with the top of the engine or the block the uh, valve cover where it'll be I won't go too tight see if the book actually says how tight it's supposed to be 
165 inch pounds. All right, so I'll get a uh, 19 millimeter socket and we'll we'll set that correctly. All right, so this is supposed to be torqued to either 165 inch pounds or 18.5 uh, newton meters. So we'll get the 19 millimeter on there. There we go. And that's the proper setting for that. When you do put the cam position sensor back on here like this, the retaining bolts, they are supposed to be tightened down to 80 inch pounds or 9 newton meters. And again, I don't have that, so I think that's the quarter inch drive that goes down that low. Uh, they're actually on sale at Harbor Freight this week uh, for $12, either for the quarter inch, the three eighths, or the half inch. So if you need some, it's the time to get them. All right, so I'm going to have to wait for that O ring to come in, and then uh, I'll put that on, but I can still, I'm getting ready, I'm going to put the head gasket onto the block and then I'll position this and uh, then I'm guessing the next step will be oh no I have to put the uh, the the gear for the uh, timing belt I gotta do that next so let me do that first <laughs> 